My parents had a rule in the household that whatever the kids picked as a hobby they had to do until the end of high school, which puts a lot of pressure on a five-year-old. Both my sisters chose to play the piano and were terrible at it. I used to listen to their piano lessons and after they were done, I would go and sit down and play whatever they were playing sort of by ear. Now I'm 26 and people are surprised that I play classical music. I look younger than I am and I think my age is younger than people would expect. I, I need to try to grow out a beard, but not, nothing happens. I'm Greg Zellick, and I'm the principal organist of the Madison Symphony Orchestra and the curator of the Overture Concert Organ. It's a very physical instrument. You know, it's not just your hands, it's also your feet. This particular organ, it's very unique to Madison. The console's movable, so we can put it anywhere we want on the stage, so you can really see the organist doing his thing. The facade of the pipes and sort of the design are meant to look like the rolling hills of Wisconsin. When people come in, they're in awe of it. Inside of the organ chamber, there are 4,040 pipes and the reason that there are so many is that per each individual stop or sound on the organ, there is a pipe for each note of the keyboard or pedal board. They all reside in this movable chamber and the whole thing weighs 174 tons. It is believed to be the largest movable object in any theater in the world. Most of the time, the only experience that people have with the organ is the Toccata and Fugue in D minor at Halloween. and baseball games. And yet, the organ has some of the richest repertoire in all of classical music, so how do we get people to come and, and hear what that is? You will actually be going just past the bar over there and the door. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Madison Symphony Orchestra, welcome. Thank you for joining us, and enjoy the concert. I feel extraordinarily fortunate to be in the situation I'm in, to be able to share this music with people and to be the curator of an organ in a space like this is unbelievable. There is nothing more engaging to an audience than their sense that you are having an incredible time doing what you're doing. And I feel like I have a responsibility to express that this music is worth listening to. I mean, I feel proud. And I want to show everyone around this country what an incredible thing that 250,000 Madisonians have at their disposal all the time.